everybody, welcome back to another day of Mishmas. Today I am taking a break from doing a vlog and doing a twin pregnancy update for all of you guys. I know a lot of you guys have been asking how things have been going, so we're gonna do that today. If you guys are brand new, hit the subscribe button down below. That makes me super happy. I hope you guys have been enjoying Mishmas. It seems like you guys have. I've been having a lot of fun interacting with you guys on a day-to-day -day basis, and it'll be so fun next year to look back on these vlogs and be like, oh my gosh, that's what life was like before the twins. So today I wanted to do a 23 week pregnancy update with my twin girls. We're gonna start it off with my symptoms, my weight, all of that stuff. So in some ways I feel like this pregnancy has been going by really fast and in other ways I feel like it's taking its sweet time. <laughs> so as of right now at 23 weeks, I have gained 22 and a half pounds and I feel like that's right on track and of where I'm supposed to be, but it is getting so crazy uncomfortable. You guys know that my newest pregnancy symptom has been my pregnancy congestion, and I think I did have a cold on top of the pregnancy congestion. I still feel like I have mucus. I have been doing the essential oils, the humidifier. I have been doing the neti pot. That's like all I can do. I can take Mucinex and Sudafed, but none of those have done anything. So I'm just kind of trying to ride it out, and hopefully it will go away. Hopefully it will not last my entire pregnancy, which I know is very, very common, but that's like my biggest newest symptom. Actually, I lie, I take that back. My newest symptom has been my sciatica. So I had sciatica with my second when I was pregnant with Max and it was down my left side, all the way down my back, all the way down the nerve, all the way down my, my left bum, everything. It made it really painful to walk. And now I have it on both sides. So all the way from my back, my lower back, all the way down through my butt and all the way down, it is so painful because the babies are pushing down on that pelvic region as well. So I feel like it hurts to breathe because I feel like it's getting cramped in there even though they're super tiny. They're not even big right now. So I'm just feeling uncomfortable all the time. I can't sit too long, I can't stand too long. Last night we had Brad's work party and we had to leave a couple hours early because I was in so much excruciating pain. My tailbone was killing me just from sitting. I think we had been sitting for an hour and a half or two hours. So that has been really difficult, just trying to figure out how to sit, how to stand. I always feel like I have to recline because it takes off the pressure. I also got like a belly band thing that will help support the weight so that it's not you know, pushing down in that pelvic region. But that has been super uncomfortable and I know someday I'm gonna look back on this video and be like, Michelle, you had no idea because at some point they're gonna both be five pounds. I think at this point they're each like one pound, two pound, like they're tiny still at this point. So I can only imagine, and you guys are gonna come along with me and we're gonna see how uncomfortable we can get together. I still don't have any stretch marks on my belly, thankfully, uh, but I feel like I'm starting already to get to the nesting mode. I feel like since my time is limited, I don't know when I'm going to go, when I'm gonna go into labor. I feel like I'm not gonna make it, obviously, till the end. So I feel like I'm trying to do things around my house that I can do now because I'm going to get to the point where I'm not gonna be able to do much at the end. So so it's very, very difficult for me to bend over. I can't bend over. You guys know what I'm talking about when you're pregnant. I haven't actually had bad problems as far as like having to go pee all the time, thankfully. I feel like I'll get to that point, <laughs> definitely. But what have I been craving? I've been craving like chocolates a lot. Chocolate just sounds really good all the time. Chocolates and sweets because people keep bringing stuff to me because it's the holidays and I just want them. <laughs> so as far as like the whole nesting thing goes, I reorganized my entire closet and it took a lot of work and it was hard because I couldn't bend over, but I basically cleaned it all out and just have the stuff that I can wear right now available so it's not like cluttered with maternity stuff, skinny stuff, midway stuff. I just, I got rid of a ton, but I'm keeping a ton so after the twins are born, I can just like pull that down out of my little containers and then hang them up so I can have that access again to that clothes. But that will be a separate video and it's like embarrassing how bad it was because I've been pregnant and I just, that was the last thing in the world. But now I feel like so much more zen because it's so much more organized and cleaned out and everything. And you guys will see that video coming up soon, but nesting has been huge. I'm trying to think of what else I wanted to tell you guys. My doctor told me at my last appointment that he could induce me at 38 weeks. And as you know, twins come a lot earlier and it's actually unhealthy for them to go too full term because if they get too big, it's bad for you, it's bad for the babies. I even know a lot of people who have been induced at 36, 37 weeks, it all depends on what's happening at that end. But I know I will never go to that 40 week point because 
it could be kind of bad for the baby's development and everything. So I know that no matter what, at this point I have 15 weeks left. So I feel like I'm on a countdown and I feel like every week I want to accomplish something big as far as organizing my home and getting it kind of ready so that when the twins come, I can just worry about them and my kids and not worrying about, ah, my house is a disaster, if that makes any sense. So my stomach is basically the size as if I was 33, 34 weeks pregnant at this point. It's crazy to imagine. I will show you guys a pic of my belly right now, uh, but I'm finding it difficult, obviously, to find things to wear because at this point in this pregnancy, usually I'm like towards the end, so I'm like, eh, I don't need anything bigger, but it's getting bigger and bigger and it's only gonna get bigger and bigger, so that's gonna be really fun and interesting to try to find clothing that actually fits me. I feel like overall, I'm feeling great. Mentally, I'm feeling wonderful. I know that this is really difficult physically, but I'm really trying to stay in a good, happy, positive place, and I just feel like I have gone out of my way to see people and socialize and serve people and be productive, and I think Mishmas has been really awesome for that too. And so I think, I feel like every week is going by so quickly, and I feel happy and I feel grateful for this opportunity, and I'm just really, I was telling Brad yesterday that I'm just so amazed at my body and what it can handle and how I know it's difficult, I know it's painful, but this is my last pregnancy and so I want to cherish it and I want to just be grateful that everything is okay and even though I'm in pain, it's only for a short amount of time. And so I really try to keep that perspective and I feel like since I've been doing that, it's been helping me just maintain a really happy, positive state. So that is it for my 23 week twin pregnancy update. If you guys have any questions, comment down below and we will see you guys tomorrow in another video. Thanks so much for watching, bye.